If I hit the lot with you, I've been gone for broke, broke. Let me paint this picture real clear, babe. Because hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ava Pearl, and I know it's been a minute, but thank you for sticking around and tuning back in. So I just got back from Coachella, and this is my festival look that I did for the weekend. I survived the aftermath, it was crazy. But I had a great time. I just wanted to do something fun where I could like dress up and really be festive. Because the past couple years I went, I didn't really get to dress up. So this year, I just wanted to go all out. This is the look that I created. You know, just a little colored hair mixed in with the cornrows. Put it in a, a top knot bun, and then I added 24 inch length extensions to it. I wanted like a really long mermaid look. So these um, extensions I actually ordered from Unice Hair. Unice, Eunice. Um, and they're a really cool company online. So I used to spend, I don't know, like 120 on a pack of clip-in extensions. And these ones are only 67 online. This one is for the 24 inch pack and they're just clipping, so I just clipped them in my hair, which I'll show you how to do. And they have different lengths. Um, if you do order today, you will get a $8 off coupon, which I'm gonna put in the link below. Um, after today, they're actually giving a $4 off coupon, so I'm gonna put that code in the description as well. So it's a really good deal. It's only like 60 bucks. You get seven pieces. It makes it pretty full. I mean, my hair is already pretty long, but it's not like super thick. So it does make it look a lot longer and thicker, which I love. This pack is also 100 grams, so really good deal. I mean, it blends in pretty good. If you feel like you want more at the bottom, I'll show you down here. I kind of liked how it got thinner. I don't know, I don't like it when it's like too thick because then it's a lot of hair. I would have been sweating. So they basically look like this. They come in a package like so. You can also like cut them or layer them however you'd like. Um, and these are Malaysian straight hair pieces. So it's 100% virgin hair, which is cool. It's really, really silky, but not too silky where it doesn't blend if you have coarser hair. Um, Cause my hair isn't like like super silky when it's straightened since it is curly. So blends really, really well. So you'll need one pack of that hair. Then you'll also need, just for braiding, one pack of, is this the same? Yeah. One pack of Konecalon. Is that how you say it? Konecalon? I don't know. Anyways, um, any, any color you want. Um, I used two packs, so I actually, here's my leftover. I didn't even use all of it, but I use like a lavender ombre color mixed with this um, royal blue and mint. And these are only like $5 at your local beauty supply store. Um, and then you will also need some edge gel. I really like this one because it's actually Australian beeswax. Um, it holds really good and doesn't get flaky. This one is called Murray's edge wax and it's an extreme hold. So I got that from my local beauty store. Then you'll need a fine tooth comb for the braids. And then you'll also need a brush just kind of to slick these puppies down. I don't know, I have a lot of breakage in the front so I really have to like smooth these down if they're gonna be exposed like this. So this is the final look and let's go ahead and show you guys how I did this. Okay guys, so first you're just gonna start with clean, straight hair. I'm gonna gather up my pieces. First, on the bottom, I'm gonna actually start with a two-piece extension. And just make sure when you start, you're just measuring the back of your head as you go. Um, there's really no science to it. You just wanna make sure it, it kinda lines up with your head. So now we're gonna go ahead and split the hair. I tend to leave a little bit of the hair on the bottom. Just if you wanna put it like in a ponytail, there's not gonna be, you know, the clip-in at the very end. You want it kinda in the middle. Um, also, it gives it more hair to clip onto. So, my part obviously is not perfect. 
but you're not really going to be able to tell once all the hair is in, so just make sure it's fairly even. Okay, so moving on to the next chunk, you just want to make sure that there's a little sliver of hair in between. And then we're just going to go ahead and tease it again and spray a little hairspray just so the clip-ins stay a little bit longer. And then we're just going to measure the hair again and find the right piece. So I'm pretty much going for the longer pieces in the middle of the head because your head is obviously smaller at the nape and then it gets bigger around and I have an alien head so we're just going to find the longest piece but in the middle, you feel me? So here on the sides, I like to just use the one-piece clip-in. Um, you definitely don't want it to look super short in the front and then long in the back, so we want to make it even. So we're just going to throw this little guy right here in the front. Okay, so now I'm going to start splitting my hair at the top, just so we know what we are going to braid at the top. And then I'm going to start slicking it down with some Murray's pomade. That way you don't get any flyaways sticking up. And then it's nice and clean. So let's go ahead and slick that thing down. And make sure you wrap the rest of your hair in a pony so that when you're braiding, it doesn't get caught. So now I'm just splitting the hair into a V shape because I didn't want just straight cornrows back. So I'm going to do it in a triangle shape. So we are just going to part the hair and clip back what we're not braiding. Okay, so by the time I got to this step, the camera had died on me right as I started the braids and I was just done with life. Like, I just could not take it anymore because I was having technical difficulties. So we're just going to fast forward to after Coachella and you are going to see how my hair is still holding up. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to just show you how I did the braid. Um, since my hair is already done, I don't want to take these out, but I'll just go ahead and start another one right here and show you how it's done. Now, if you've never cornrowed before, that's like a whole nother video that you might want to look up on YouTube, or maybe I'll do another tutorial on it. Um, but yeah, so you might want to learn how to do that first, because adding in hair can be a little bit more complicated. And then everybody has their own ways, so this is not like the the right way or the perfect way to do it, but this is just what works best for me, so you gotta find what's easiest for you. So first I took for each braid, I used about this much hair. So you kinda wanna just make sure you get enough. You kinda wanna pull the ends a little bit so they're not blunt. That way when you braid it all the way to the bottom, they're not chunky, they get thinner as you go. What I found that works really well is if you start with, I mean, obviously you're going to want to part your hair however you want it. I kind of chose to do like triangle shapes. 
And what you wanna do is take, let's just do this, a little tiny piece in the front. You are going to wrap this around. So I like to almost like start braiding it. You're gonna pull that and then what I like to do is to start pulling, oops, pulling from the side to match that. So you have those two. Then what you're gonna do is take half of this piece and add it with that front piece. So when, once you make your first move, this is really what keeps it like tight there in the front. Wait, did I do that? Yeah. So I have three, okay. So then you're gonna wanna start grabbing for the corner row. And just keep working your way back. I don't have a part right now, so it's gonna look semi-crazy, but just keep grabbing from each side. Now you're just doing your regular French braid cornrow. And with these, you're gonna wanna do it under, not over, to give it that 3D effect. If you do it over, you're gonna have a braid that looks like it's going inward and it's not gonna pop up. So see how I'm just grabbing as I go? Okay, that piece is over there. This is a lot harder to do actually in front of the camera and not the mirror. I keep grabbing. I, again, I don't have a part, so it's not going to look the best, but... But I don't know, I just kind of found this method to work the best for me, where my hands aren't slipping, especially if you're like new to braiding or adding in hair, this might work for you. So let me know if it works. Cause it definitely worked for me. And I've had these braids in for the last three days and I went swimming and they're like still really good. I was so surprised. When you get to the ends, so you can either burn the ends with a lighter, which I didn't want to try doing because my hair is fairly long. So I could have just burnt my own hair off. So I'm like, not doing that. Um, but what I did to seal them was dip it in boiling hot water, which I'm sure you've seen before. So I pretty much just braid it all the way down. Braiding is so tedious too. We're getting all the way to the end now. At first I was gonna do faux dreads, and then I just did not have time. So I was like, let me do extensions and then do some cornrows. So this is the end. Some people like to like tie the end. I don't really think it matters because it's like so long, it's not really gonna unravel. Um, so once you're done with this, you're gonna take boiling hot water and dip the ends in there so they're not like scraggly but make sure you don't dip your own hair in there because that could cause breakage so just dip the colored hair in there it's gonna look a lot smoother and then it's also gonna seal it so it stays so I'd probably recommend this way versus burning it that is how we just have this random chunk but yeah that is how you braid these in because I don't have time to be spending like a hundred dollars every time I want my hair braided, so you better learn how to do it yourself. Cause I am balling on a budget. I hope you guys try it. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.